During a national COVID-19 update on April 5th, Deputy Chief Medical Officer Dr. Anton Best revealed that the current surge began on March 28th. Now, in order to get a true picture of the impact the surge is having on our nation, we must compare it with the last spike. With regards to COVID-19, last October was deadly. In the 31 days of October 2021, Barbados recorded 9,414 positive COVID-19 cases for an average of 303 cases per day for the month. This period also saw 78 deaths from the virus. When you compare that with the 28 days between March 28, 2022 and now, which is just three days less than the October spike, we've had 8,977 cases and 58 deaths. There have been 437 fewer cases during this period and 20 fewer deaths. One important factor to note is last year's spike was the Omicron variant, while our current surge is due to the BA2 subvariant. Chief Medical Officer Dr. The Most Honorable Kenneth George spoke to me about the differences between now and last October. We peaked about over 700 cases recently. Unfortunately, what goes up comes down. So we are at 323 cases today. And I predict that there will be a decline. What we have noticed is that hospitalizations are certainly down. But that is the, not the whole story. We also noticed that elderly persons are being affected more so and becoming sicker than their younger counterparts. With respect to the younger demographic, Dr. George said the symptoms reported are milder. Um, not too much respiratory symptoms. We're happy with that. More fatigue, muscle ache, not feeling well. Fever has come up a bit more than previous um, versions. But the fact of the matter is, is that if an individual feels unwell in this climate, go get a COVID test. Because that's the climate we're living in. I, I can't. We don't speak about people getting the flu or sinusitis. Even if you had sinusitis in the past, go get a COVID test. The chief medical officer says he's upbeat about life returning to a state of normalcy. We're going to turn the corner. I'm absolutely sure about this. Are we going to get back to state of normalcy? What I'm happy to see is that there's been some movement. The more natural things that we do are coming back into play. I see Q in the community. I'm happy to hear that, I must say. And I noticed that the, um, the, the celebrations for the he uh, National Heroes Day, we need to get back into a more routine. We need to try to personal responsibility, let public health do what they have to do, and get on with our lives.